very hard to die. And Trojans, hearing the brazen voice of Hesedes, all their spirits quaked. Even sleek maned horses, sensing death in the wind, slewed their chariots around, and charioteers were struck dumb when they saw that fire, relentless, terrible, burst from proud-hearted Achilles' head, blazing as fiery-eyed Athena fueled the flames. The Trojan War has finished its long course. Achaeans won by sneaking past the vaulting walls, as if they were a gift, a wooden horse. A decade done, at last the city falls. And yet the riches found were not at all. Along with war, there came a great resource. Achilles and Agamemnon's egos tall were humbled to the ground with this mighty force. Wait, the 
ones that general has set aside just for themselves. And then, there lies one captive slave treated rightly. Daughter of Tiberius, Helen of Sparta! I know to no folly! Well, thunder my can slave your tongue! Oh, brother, over the earth, my son is dead to come and slaughter. What better shame be provided to conflict than silence, the contest, Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena was an oasis of my silent will. We must maintain our pride among the gods who look up to us for order. Blood order from the temples of the gods. Pride has cut down on the steps that rise to the altar of Zeus, protector of the earth. Your elder brother has conveyed his will. What greater prayer needs serve a purpose? Cassandra, maddened by Apollo's touch and made untouchable, will soon be forced to Agamemnon's unholy bed. O oh, city that flourished once within your high towers, your high stone walls. Farewell. <coughs> if Zeus's daughter, Pallas Athena, hadn't destroyed you, you would still be standing firm. On firm foundations. May I 
put aside the bad blood between us and speak now to my father's close relation, his power is honored among the gods. Of course, Lady Athena, the ties of blood irresistibly charm the mind and heart. Thank you for your kindness. I want to raise a subject that concerns us both, my lord. Has a new director been sent out from Zeus? Or one of the other gods? No, it's for choice sake. Where we are standing now, that I should win your power to my side. But has your hatred now given way to pity? Now that city burns to us. Let's keep to the subject. Will you advise me? Help me achieve what I want to do. Of course I will. But tell me, on whose behalf? The Greeks or Trojans? I want to help the Trojans whom I hate and hurt the Greek troops as they journey home. Why does your mind blow at such means of chance? Too much this way or that? Is love or hate? You heard how they've insulted me! My temples! Yes. And the Jacks dragged Cassandra off by force. And the Greeks said nothing! Did nothing but they just looked on! And yet! And yet you gave them the strength to conquer Troy. That's why, with your help, I want to make them suffer. I'll gladly help. But tell me, what is that you want?
true love, Troy. Like you soon, I will stand at the back of the ship and watch the smoking show disappear from view. Remembering the beauty of city, I came to ruin. The sound of her fountains. The songbirds that grace her rustling, fragrant gardens. The fruits that bobbed in the gentle breeze of her orchards. All this I will think of as the sails bury us back and we drive a snake of foam behind our sharp prows. So much left of her will be lost into grey waves. And all that will remain is the memory. Memory of such a city. A city I came to destroy. not to mourn for in my misery. My children are gone. My homeland. And you, you too, ancestral glory and all that opulence. You are to what? To nothing. So why? Why be silent? Yet why not? Why not be silent? Who has in the dirt? What good can it do? Unlucky as I am, my limbs so beaten down that they can hardly lie here. I need the crushing weight of my destiny. You, you Greeks. You dropped your anchors off with the Egyptian cable off the Trojan shore, <coughs> hunting the hateful wife Menelaus, who made me the wretched, the wretched Hecuba, the founder against the reef she is. Look, look how the fret of home I am. I am a slave! A slave. An old woman slave. You pitiful, you pitiful wives of bronze! Spear Trojan warriors, you daughters wet to ruin, come out! Come out! Come out! Let us heed the Troy. Oh, the song I once led. Where the shrill cries you cry? Where will your outburst take us? Even from inside the tent, I heard you keening. Your pitiful words sent fear cutting through us. 
prior to the hearts of Trojan women mourning in those that they have bondage. The Osman. The Osman of the Greeks are starting to see how they are moving to the ships. Is this their will? Has the time come to tell me apart from my ancestral home? I don't know. I only guess I'm ruined. You want lucky Trojans! Come, Come on, to your heart shows you soon be gone! The Greeks are getting ready for home now! Wait! Don't, don't let the sound route! Grace and delete is for the Argives to mock! As if the pain I feel has a sharp enough already. Trembling in the icy sweat. Who was she made of a 
Achilles' son, picked up for his prize.
these answers after the Greek dance. I never thought much. If you'd be married, I'd spill that. Forced into marriage for the Greek ones. She won't carry it straight. It isn't straight. Come, come, Trojan daughters. Take away the torch and let's replace her wedding song with tears. Of the winds. 
And the following week to the ships. Perfect bed made for a wise leader. And you do her humor. Go willingly. And only say sir. This servant is too clever for his own good. Why do you plan to them with the name of when the whole world hates them? Knows they're nothing but phantoms, lackeys, and lap dogs of tyrants and states. You say my mother will go to Odysseus' palace. And yet Apollo, in his own words, told me she'll die right here at home.
just no Greek or any other foreign mother could ever brag of her being. But I had to watch them sun by sun.
hotel. Go get it now. And who among us watch out, girls or romantic things run? From the houses to sing and dance, from the boss in their enchantment. At their own death in disguise.
Dr. Martin. My child. The Greeks and masters are taking me away. Protect me, scourge of the Greeks. This is our fate, my child. Because the gods hate us. Your son eluded death in a cursed bread and brought down dry stars. And now, the blood-soaked mangled dead body teeth lie at the feet of Pallas Athena for the vultures to carry. Paris alone, your toy to slay. My children, your mother has no city, no children either. Our house is just a wealth of tears. At least a dead man is mute to grief. And your tears can soon be written. Tears and dirges sound to the melodies of grief. Mother of the man who spared that town so many beauties. Look at you. Do you see this? I see. I feel what gods. We burn up towns, towns of nothing, and sweep away like nothing. Towns we thought no one could ever talk. My child and I are spoiled. We are taken away. We are No Nobility at the great turning of the fields to become a slave of others. And necessity is a terrifying force, my child. Just now, Cassandra was taken away from me, ripped from my arms. Alexander's dead. <laughs> Killed an Achilles grave. A final gift. A corpse. To a corpse. Child. Oh, child. So that's what that beast meant. His riddling words have all come clear. The sovereign might send Killed an Achilles I climbed down the cart. Covered a body with ropes. And railed and beat my breath. So brutal. Her throat slit. Throat slit in a dead man's tomb. <coughs> what was? What was? By being dead, she's better off than I am. Still alive. No, no my child. You're wrong. Life, life means hope. Death means nothing at all. Mother, for me, there is no difference between death and never being born. By far, death is better than living a life flooded with pain, since death ends every suffering. Even the reputation I worked so hard Reach the Greek young. And Achilles' son no less chose me as his wife. I'll be slave to the killers of my king. Tell me, what do I do? If I don't submit to my new master, I'll be hated by my new master. And if I raise the memory of my beloved Hector, 
myself, I must announce it on the will of the Greeks. I would rather tell you anything but this. What do you mean by this? You're hinting at something here. It's been decided that your son, uh, how can I say this? Do you mean you'll have different masters? No. No Greek will ever open. No, I don't mean that. Will you be left here past the frozen grace? No. No, but there's an easy way to tell the bad news. Thanks for your courtesy. Unless the news is awful. You're going to kill your boy. No! 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 Do not treat him as kind as him!
May I try to show you that it would be unjust 
your height. You, you turn the tide from that. And then loss. When the Greeks said well, she would taunt my son by praising you and saying, What a glorious warrior men and lost words. What a superior lover, but when the Trojans did well, it was as if she didn't even know who men lost was. So in other words, you have no loyalty to anyone. But follow fortune, drift to great rate. What have I won? Only slavery. Slavery! Slavery, you monster! You broken wish! After all of this, you have the nerve to come out over here and read the same air your husband breathes. Well, the more fitting of your fear in rags, you had shaven, and then they would have called you a slave. Given your many crimes, you should be asking in shame, not arrogance. No loss, I finished speaking. Little do what you all of your horses, all your ancestors about. Give your wife the just as she talks. And scold from grief, the stain of what she's done, and pass on even your enemy's respect. This woman has freely exchanged my bed for a stranger's, my home for his. And now she invokes Aphrodite as a small screen. So go you, go, go find the people who will kill you by stoning, who will make sure that you suffer in one instant for all the Greeks' long labors. Dying. I should learn not to shame this honorable people. No, 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 my niece, I do not deserve to die. Keep Forgive faith, me. Melos. Keep faith. All the comrades she has killed. I beg you. For their I sake, I'm to be a children. I have not listened to a word she has said. I'm going to command my soldiers to take her to the ship back home. My loss. My loss. Don't let her sail on the same ship with you. Why not? Is she too heavy now? Has she gained weight? My loss, when a lover falls hard, he falls for good. That depends. Loud and beloved days. I will take her to Greece and make sure that she dies a wretched death, a slut like her deserves. A death will shake all your foolishness with fear. Be a sign for all the women to be faithful. Even one less shameless than herself. <coughs> Bring her to the ship. No! Let me go! Oh! Let me go! Child's burial. A 
the field itself. I suffer a painful sacrifice. You Greeks, your weaponry holds more strength than your wisdom. So why kill this child? Why murder him in such a new and brutal way? I pray you stand up, that he might one day meet. Troy, rise again? Were you scared? Because if so, your bond would send the monks to nothing! To nothing! For even when Hector was, was at his peak in battle, with thousands of comrades fighting by his side, he still fell. All of us won. Why won? And now, now that the city is gone, and we're all, we're all, we're all destroyed. You're still afraid of him. This little child. Here are your women, who bring from you the chosen choice, 
place upon you that had once been yours, adorning you with them, but not in joy. Put your shield, Hector. Cradle. Cradle this little crown I now place upon you. You're no more alive than he is. No more deathless in any way. But stronger by far as a weapon by any other weapon of Odysseus than cunning liar. Beat your head. Your face, beat it over and over, the way the ocean beats the water. Your women. So in the end, God's did nothing for us. Anguish and more anguish is all we have brought. And above all, hatred for my city. God's fist hadn't backed us from nothing. We would have lived on some, unknown and some, those to come. How you break my heart, my heart so deeply. You who are to be a prince in my city. I have. The sea has opened for you, child. Poseidon Soham Raji. Hector and Andromache, played by Aman Shabazz and Veena Menon. Helen Calthavius, played by Nisha Hegde and Tanish Nambia. Menelaus, played by Manav Chaudhary. Cassandra, played by Ojasvi Bhattarai.
The chorus played by Gitika, Vinita, Purva, Narissa, Prachi, Sara. Hekiva, played by Leanne Tyus. Soldiers, played by Norman, Harsh, Levin, Jatin, and Anshu. Props by Nadia Tahe. Makeup by Nisha Hegde. Sets by Harsh. And music by, led by Leanne Pires. Now we call the music design. Jack Berka on the violin. Parker on the keys. Video on the Kahoon. 